guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. I'm super excited, as always, had that energy because I'm trying to provide this energy to you guys so you guys can get excited. Uh, this is actually part four of 12 or our MDT 2013 and Windows 8.1 deployment series. I'm super excited. Everything's going well. I have a lot of you requesting a bunch of videos. Again, I want to keep you guys informed. I'm trying to finish up the 12 parts first before I start doing a video request. And today's part four, and we're going to go over driver management. Now, driver management is a huge topic. And I'm not going to try to bore you and make you watch a 10 minute, 11 minute uh, video going over different scenarios, best practices. Why? Because I already done that, like right here. You see these guys right here? Oh, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. Four videos, and I broke it. I broke this down in the past with 2012, and it's the same concept with 2013 driver management. Uh, um, part one is this little mini series right here. Click on one of the videos. In part one, I show you guys how to manage Windows uh, Windows PE boot, uh, and I think in part two, I show you guys uh, scenario one, two, and three, which is like ultra. I think three is like full control. Um, Part two is like predicting, and the other one is just like like one, one of those one-offs. But again, check these videos out. It will help you a lot. On this video, I'm just going to show you the basics, just uh, inserting and importing a driver within your out-of-the-box node, a little bit of a management. Basically, my it's like a dirty version of getting yourself up and running on MDT 2013 with out-of-box drivers. I don't really recommend this at all, but if you need to get your server up and running and get those drivers up and running right away because you have your boss pressuring you to get these machines deployed on the floor, this is the video for you. If not, if you have some time and you want everything to be in a certain way so you can understand it, you want to have a little bit of more management, click on these videos right inside of me and check it out. Again, I'm going to put the links at the bottom of the description and uh, let's get to it. All right, guys. So we're within our deployment workbench, and I already downloaded my drivers. I am actually going to install only my NIC driver. Again, this is mostly the dirty way to get your MDT server up and running. Uh, if you have multiple models on the floor that you need to get this operating system and these applications out quickly, this is the way that you want to do it until everything is fully deployed. You could come back into your MDT server and then modify it or you know customize it with a little bit more of driver management so I have my Broadcom gigabit uh, driver and I want to get uh, Windows 7 86 and what we're gonna do is go inside our workbench and regardless this is the dirty way of doing it I still like to right click and create a new folder and just do uh, let's say this is a Dell and I'm gonna click next and within Dell, I create another folder, and this is for the Precision uh, 6M6500 laptops. And there we go, we hit finish. And then within here, I am going to import only the NIC driver. So let's go in here. It's for 64, 86 and 64, so let's uh, do 64. And next, next, and there we go. Hit finish, and let's expand that. And there goes our NIC drivers. That's it, guys. Uh, if you, it really, again, this is the dirty way. But if I was doing it on the other four videos that I show you guys, again, check out those four videos if you guys have some time to have a little bit of management and control. Okay, if you could take this even further, you could create two more folders within the precision m65 or 86 and 64 bit so many ways to do it guys to me this is more of the dirty way of doing it again uh your boss uh it's on your case he wants you to the uh he wants you to deploy these machines quickly you have about 20 machines that you need to deploy just drop all the drop all the drivers inside the node and just push them out in one shot and then once you push all the machines out with the operating system you're good to go then you come back later do a little bit of driver management fix it up for future uh, deployment and that's it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this driver management again this is part four of 12 uh, please leave comments below again check out the other four videos 
I'm going to leave the link at the bottom of the description so you guys could go check out because those have more full detail for you guys. Leave comments below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.